Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week, we're taking a look at the top trending GitHub projects that are making waves in the tech community. From game development to AI and everything in between, these projects are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. So let's dive in and explore some of the most exciting open source projects out there. This is part one where we cover the first 10 projects. Project number one, Lightrag a simple and fast solution for retrieval augmented generation. Hey everyone, let's say we're gonna be looking at Lightrag, a cutting edge project designed to make retrieval augmented generation simpler and faster. Now RAG is all about combining the power of large language models like GPT with the ability to retrieve relevant information from a knowledge base. This allows us to generate more accurate and informative responses. What sets LightRag apart is its focus on efficiency and user friendliness. One of the coolest things about LightRag is its support for a variety of popular models. Whether you prefer OpenAI, Hugging Face, or Olama models, LightRag has got you covered. This means you can easily integrate LightRag into your existing workflow regardless of your preferred tools. LightRag also provides different search modes to retrieve relevant information. You can choose from naive, local, global, or even a hybrid approach to fine tune the search process. And when it comes to adding new information to your knowledge base, LightRag offers both batch and incremental insertion options. That means you can add a bunch of documents at once or gradually add new ones over time. But it doesn't stop there. LightRag comes with a robust evaluation framework so you can assess its performance. It includes a data set, query generation methods, and batch evaluation capabilities. They've even compared LightRag to other RAG systems to showcase its effectiveness. Plus, the entire code base is available on GitHub, making it easy to reproduce the results and contribute to the project. If you're excited to learn more and join the LightRag community, they have a Discord channel where you can connect with other users and developers. And to make things even easier, there's a video introduction available that explains the key concepts in a clear and concise way. With its intuitive design, impressive features, and active community, LightRag is a fantastic choice for anyone looking to streamline their RAG workflow. Project number two, Open Canvas, an open source platform for collaborative writing with AI agents. Let's we're checking out Open Canvas, an incredible open source web app designed to help you write better with the help of AI agents. It's like having a super smart writing partner right in your browser. Now, you might have heard of OpenAI's Canvas, and while Open Canvas takes inspiration from it, there are some key differences that make it really special. First off, Open Canvas is completely open source, meaning all the code is publicly available and free to use under the MIT license. This includes the front end, the content generation agent, and even the reflection agent. Open source is awesome because it promotes transparency and allows anyone to contribute to the project, making it better for everyone. Another cool feature of Open Canvas is its built-in memory. It has a reflection agent that remembers style rules and insights you've provided in previous sessions. This means Open Canvas learns about your preferences over time and can provide more personalized assistance as you write. It's like having an AI writing buddy who knows exactly what you like. But here's where Open Canvas really shines. You can start with your own existing documents. A lot of other platforms force you to start from scratch with a chat interaction. With Open Canvas, you can open up a text editor or even a code editor and jump right into refining your existing work. This makes it super convenient for anyone who already has some content they want to improve. So if you're looking for a powerful and flexible way to collaborate with AI on your writing projects, Open Canvas is definitely worth checking out. You can try it out for free on their website or even download the code and run it locally if you're feeling adventurous. And with its open source nature, you can be sure that Open Canvas will continue to evolve and improve with the help of a passionate community. Happy writing. Project number three, Redwood JS, the app framework built for startups. Are you tired of wrestling with endless JavaScript frameworks and libraries? Do you dream of a simpler, more efficient way to build powerful web applications? Well, today I'm excited to introduce you to Redwood JS, a full stack JavaScript framework specifically designed to help startups hit the ground running. Redwood JS takes an opinionated approach, meaning they've already made a lot of the tough decisions about which technologies to use, so you don't have to. They've carefully curated a best in class tech stack, including React, Prisma, GraphQL and Storybook, and seamlessly integrated them to work together flawlessly. Think of it like a perfectly tuned sports car. It's ready to race right out of the box. But Redwood JS isn't just about speed. It's also incredibly powerful. It streamlines data fetching and form submission by leveraging the latest advancements in React. 
like server components and server actions. This makes building dynamic and responsive user interfaces a breeze. And thanks to its use of TypeScript, you get the added benefit of type safety, which helps prevent errors and makes your code easier to maintain. Plus, Redwood JS is flexible enough to grow with your startup. You can choose to deploy it on serverless platforms like Netlify or Vercel for maximum scalability, or go with traditional server and container providers like AWS or Render if you prefer more control. And the best part, Redwood JS is completely open source, meaning it's free to use and has a vibrant community of contributors. So what are you waiting for? Head over to redwoodjs.com and start building your next big thing today. Project number four, Prefect your Python code's best friend for building rock-solid data pipelines. Hey, data enthusiasts! Are you tired of your Python scripts failing at the worst possible moments? Let me introduce you to Prefect, a framework that's like a superhero sidekick for your Python code, turning it into resilient data pipelines that can handle anything you throw at them. Imagine this. You've got a Python script that fetches data, cleans it, and then loads it into a database. With Prefect, you can easily transform this script into a robust workflow with just a few lines of code. It's like adding superpowers to your code. Prefect takes care of all the boring but essential stuff, like scheduling, retrying failed tasks, and even handling unexpected errors. You can focus on writing the core logic of your pipeline, and Prefect will make sure it runs smoothly and reliably. It even has a fancy UI where you can monitor your workflows and see what's happening in real time. But wait, there's more. Prefect is super flexible. You can run your workflows locally, on your own server, or even on Prefect Cloud. Plus, it plays nicely with all the popular data science tools out there, so you can easily integrate it into your existing setup. Prefect is your go-to tool for building data pipelines that are resilient, scalable, and easy to manage. So ditch those fragile scripts and embrace the power of Prefect. Project number five, LM.RS, running large language models locally on your CPU with Rust. Hey tech enthusiasts, have you ever wanted to experiment with powerful AI models like ChatGPT, but don't have a high-end GPU? Well, today I'm excited to introduce you to LM.RS, a project that lets you run large language models LLMs right on your CPU using the speed and efficiency of the Rust programming language. This means you can experience the magic of LLMs without needing expensive hardware or relying on cloud services. LM.RS supports a range of models, from Google's Gemma 2 to Meta's Llama 3.2. It even supports multimodality with the PHI 3D5 Vision model, allowing you to use images as input. Imagine running these sophisticated models on your own machine. It's like having a mini AI lab at your fingertips. The project offers pre-quantized model files for easy setup, or you can convert models yourself using the provided Python scripts. LM.RS even includes a web UI and backend server for seamless interaction. And the best part? The developers are constantly adding new features and optimizations like batch processing for faster image encoding. LMRS is a fantastic way to explore the world of LLMs and unlock the potential of AI on your own terms. Head over to the GitHub repository and start experimenting today. Project number six, Cocos Engine, your open source gateway to game development. Have you ever dreamed of creating your own video games? Well, today I'm excited to introduce you to Cocos Engine, an open source cross-platform game engine that empowers you to bring your game ideas to life. Cocos Engine is the runtime framework for Cocos Creator, a game development tool offering a complete set of features for both 2D and 3D game creation. What makes Cocos Engine so special? Firstly, it's completely free and open source, meaning you have access to the engine's code and can even contribute to its development. Secondly, it's cross-platform, so you can create games for a wide range of devices, including Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and even web platforms like Facebook Instant Games and WeChat Mini Games. But there's more. Cocos Engine boasts modern graphics capabilities with support for Vulkan, Metal, and WebGL, ensuring high performance across different platforms. You can customize the render pipeline to create unique visual styles and even implement physically-based rendering, PBR, for realistic graphics. If you're a fan of TypeScript, you'll love the engine's easy-to-use TypeScript API. Plus, Cocos Engine provides built-in tools like animation systems, physics systems, and a UI system to streamline your game development process. So, if you're ready to embark on your game development journey, Cocos Engine is the perfect companion. It's free, open source, powerful, and packed with features to help you create amazing games. Check out the Cocos Creator website to learn more and start building your dream game today. Project number seven, Archive Box, your personal Wayback Machine. Hey, Internet Explorers. 
Ever come across a broken link and wished you could see what was there before? Or maybe you want to save some important web content offline for future reference? Well, today, I'm excited to introduce you to Archivebox. Archivebox is an open source, self-hosted web archiving solution that gives you the power to preserve web content offline. Think of it as your own personal Wayback Machine. You can feed it URLs one at a time or schedule regular imports from your bookmarks, browser history, RSS feeds, social media, and more. Archivebox saves snapshots of these URLs in multiple formats for redundancy. You get the original HTML, a single file HTML version, a screenshot, a PDF, and even a work file which is the standard format for web archiving. But that's not all. Archivebox also extracts content from within the pages, like media files, article text, and even source code from GitHub repositories. All of this data is stored in plain files and folders, so you can access it even without running Archivebox. Archivebox is a powerful tool for anyone who wants to take control of their web archiving, whether you're a researcher, journalist, lawyer, or just someone who wants to preserve their favorite web content. It's free, easy to use, and incredibly versatile. So why not give it a try? Check out the link in the description to learn more and start archiving your corner of the internet today. Project number eight, Pumpkin, a high-performance Minecraft server built in Rust. Hey gamers and tech enthusiasts, have you ever wished for a faster, more efficient way to host your Minecraft server? Today, we're taking a look at Pumpkin, a groundbreaking project that aims to revolutionize the way we play Minecraft. Pumpkin is a Minecraft server built entirely in the Rust programming language, known for its speed, safety, and concurrency. This means Pumpkin can deliver a smooth and lag-free gaming experience, even with many players online. What sets Pumpkin apart is its focus on performance and compatibility. It utilizes multi-threading to maximize speed and efficiency, ensuring a smooth and responsive gameplay experience. Pumpkin also strictly adheres to the vanilla Minecraft mechanics, so you can enjoy the game as intended without worrying about compatibility issues. The project places a high priority on security, preventing known exploits to keep your server safe and stable. It's also highly configurable, allowing you to tweak settings and disable unnecessary features for optimal performance. While still under active development, Pumpkin already offers player management, world loading and generation, and even plans to support plugins in the future. The developers are constantly working on new features and improvements, so expect more exciting updates soon. If you're interested in experiencing the future of Minecraft servers, head over to the Pumpkin GitHub repository and get started today. Project number nine, Pglite, run Postgres in your browser. Have you ever wished you could run a powerful database like Postgres directly in your web browser or in JavaScript environments like Node.js? Well, now you can with Pglite. Pglite is a special version of Postgres that's been compiled to WebAssembly PM, a format that allows code to run in web browsers and other platforms. This means you can embed a full-featured Postgres database directly into your web applications or use it in server-side JavaScript environments without needing to install anything extra. Pglite is incredibly lightweight, coming in at just three megabytes gzipped, and it's packaged as a user-friendly TypeScript library. You can use it as a temporary in-memory database this or choose to persist your data to IndexedDB in the browser or the file system in environments like Node.js, Bun, or Dino. It even supports popular Postgres extensions like PG Vector for vector similarity search, opening up exciting possibilities for modern applications. One thing to keep in mind is that PG Lite currently operates in single user mode due to technical limitations. However, don't let that fool you. It's still packed with features and perfect for a wide range of applications. If you're looking for a cutting edge way to use Postgres in new and exciting environments, PG Lite is definitely worth checking out. You can find all the documentation and guides at pglite.dev. Project number 10, the algorithms Python, your one-stop shop for learning algorithms. Hey there, coding enthusiasts. Ever feel lost in the vast world of algorithms? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Today, we're exploring the Algorithms Python, a massive open source project on GitHub that offers a comprehensive collection of algorithms implemented in Python. Whether you're a beginner just starting out or a seasoned programmer looking to brush up on your skills, this project is an incredible resource. This repository is like a giant library of algorithms, neatly organized into different categories. 
You'll find everything from classic sorting algorithms like bubble sort and merge sort to more advanced concepts like machine learning algorithms and data structures. Each algorithm comes with a clear and concise explanation along with working Python code that you can study and experiment with. The project is constantly updated with new algorithms and improvements thanks to its active and dedicated community of contributors. What makes this project unique is its focus on education. The implementations are designed to be easy to understand and learn from, even if you're not a Python expert. So if you're looking for a fun and engaging way to learn about algorithms, or if you need a quick reference for your next coding project, be sure to check out the Algorithms Python. That's it for our first look at the top trending GitHub projects this week. Be sure to check out the links to all of the repositories in the description below so you can learn more. Which project was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on the latest trends in tech and open source development. And stay tuned for part two.